Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going over to the mall because I got word that EB Games got in the Black Friday boxes. So let's go in, see if they've got them, also see what else is new, and let's get started. All right, guys, we made it. Fingers crossed they still have some left. All right, guys, so it looks like they did get six of them in today, so we are definitely going to be grabbing a couple. I also went over to the Pokemon section, guys, and found the Legends of Johto pin collection. I am definitely going to be getting this today, and it's only $35. I don't know how many packs it comes with. Nine booster packs. That is a great deal. I might have to get two of these, depending on if it comes... Does it come with Cosmic Eclipse? That would be nice to find out. But anyways, they have this one. Then they also have a bunch of other stuff back here as well. They have The Rock, Morty with Laptop, 22 Glow in the Dark, the Naruto one down here. This is him eating noodles. This is one that I wanted to get for Noah, so I will definitely be grabbing this one today. And then other than that, they have the uh, Active Camo Master Chief, the Joker Metallic. I don't think I have this one. Now that I think about it, I'd have to check, but I don't think I do. And then also looking at some other stuff over here, guys, they have some of the NHL figures. They have the Johnny Silverhand, which is the Glow in the Dark one. Now this here, I think was, was this an AE exclusive? This is a weird one to see. I might get this one today. I don't know. I'll think about it. I am getting a lot of other stuff though as well. They also look like they have every single Elvis in. They have the Blue Hawaii Jailhouse Rock and the 68 Comeback Special. I already have this one, but I don't have these two. So maybe today... I'm not sure yet. And then we also have the Dragon Ball Z box up here. Does it show what's inside? Oh, it doesn't show anything. Hmm. See, the problem is, is I don't watch Dragon Ball Z, so we might have to skip on this one today, but if you guys are from Canada, they have the Santa DB games. Up at the top there, guys, they also have one of the Sweet Tooth and Ice Cream truck, but because I'm getting all of those mystery boxes and I'm getting this stuff here, I'm only going to be getting Naruto for now. All right, guys, so we got all our stuff. Now let's go back to the studio and open it all up. Alright guys, so I am now back from EB Games, and I got a lot more stuff than expected. I was really just thinking of getting some of the Black Friday boxes today, but I had some pre-orders come in, and then they also got in some new Pokemon, so I kind of went overboard today. So let's start with the pre-orders for today, which was just a bunch of South Park Pops. So the first one that I got here was the Stan figure. Now, I do have all of the original South Park ones, so I really did want to get the brand new wave, and I think now with these ones, I have all of them... I'm pretty sure. No, I might be missing one, which we'll talk about in a second. But anyways, I got this one. I got the Margarine here, which is another good one. This one is a brand new character, so I'm glad that I could snag this one as well. Then we've got, where is it? Here it is, Kenny. Now, Kenny is a pretty funny one. I'm pretty sure this is Princess Kenny, and I really do like that pop right there. That's a really great one. And then last but not least, out of the South Park stuff that we got today, I got... Cartman. And I did pick up a lot more stuff than expected today. I was really just thinking I was going to get a couple of the Black Friday mystery boxes, but I got these. I got another pop for Noah. I got some Pokemon stuff, but I, I, it's going to be a bunch of different videos, so I don't really mind. Like, this is going to be an entire South Park series. We'll do a whole review on them again when I finally get the entire set. And I think I'm missing, like, I don't know how many exclusives came out for this wave here, but I'm guessing it's probably like two or three. So when I get those ones in, we will definitely be doing a review on every South Park pop. And then in terms of the normal pop that I picked up for Noah, I don't know if I mentioned it, I think I showed it off in the store, but I got the brand new Naruto pop eating noodles, and I was so excited about getting this one, and I wish this is the one that came inside of the Naruto collection box that came to GameStop and EB Games, because this figure would have made way more sense than the Kakashi with Lightning Blade, because there already is a different Kakashi with Lightning Blade. I mean, it's a cool character, don't get me wrong, but this one would have made way more sense. And now before we actually get onto the mystery boxes for Black Friday, I want to show you guys what a great deal the brand new Legends of Johto boxes are from Pokemon, because this right here has all three of the pin collection boxes inside. And if you guys don't remember, a little while back, actually, I don't know if I showed this off on the channel, but Noah and I did buy this one right here, which would be, I believe this is Entei, if I'm not mistaken, it is the Entei one. Anyways, this right here over at Toys R Us was like $20 or $25, but for all three of the pin collection boxes, so it's this one and then the other two Legends legendary ones, it was only $35. And inside this box at first, I thought it was just some pins with maybe like a couple packs in the front, but I didn't even notice that it was all three of the boxes. So you actually get nine packs of Pokemon cards and then the three legendary Pokemon pins. And this was such a good deal, I couldn't even just get one of them. I grabbed two of them, but there were so many in the stores that I saved a bunch for other people. I saw some other people looking at them, so I didn't want to grab every single one, but I did at least grab two. So if you guys want to find out what Noah and I get inside these boxes, make sure you subscribe to the second channel so when this video comes out, you'll be able to see it right 
right away. All right, guys, now let's get into the Black Friday mystery boxes that I got. So I grabbed four of them today, and I did leave some at the store so other people could get them if they wanted them. Plus, there's only four different characters, and then those four characters have four variants. I would say that they're chases, but they don't have chase stickers on them, so I'm not sure what Funko's calling them. And I also don't know, like, what the ratios are to get either or. Like, maybe it's just, like, a one in eight. I'm not too sure, but whatever it is, I'm definitely excited to open these up. Also, if you guys are Canadian and are wondering how much they are, if you have an edge card, they're $35.99, but if you don't have an edge card, they're $40. So if you want to get an edge card before you buy a bunch of these, I definitely recommend it because the edge card is only $10. All right, guys, now I'm not exactly sure what's inside of here. I do know that there is at least one pop, but other than that, I'm not too sure. I think there might be a Pez? Okay, so I'm gonna reach in, I'm not gonna look inside, and then we're gonna pull out the smaller stuff first, and then we'll do the pop last. And I'm pretty sure if there is Pez, because I think there's Pez, um, they'll also be different every single time. So I feel the pop there. Now where is the other stuff? Okay, here's something right here. Let me grab these two things right here. Oh! There's also Pocket Pop, so that'll be good for the Pocket Pop collection. But let's start with this right here, guys. So the first thing that I found is, wow! That is a big enamel pin. So it looks like we're also getting huge enamel pins inside of it. And you guys can see it does have a double pin back there. And then we also got the Venomized Galactus. They've never made a pop of this before. I think this is the first time we've ever seen a Venomized Galactus like this before. And it looks kind of weird. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it also looks pretty weird. All right, so that's the first two small things. Now let's see what else is in here. I'm pretty sure there's a Pez. I think so. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. But then there's also this right here, which is a sticker. And I'm pretty sure every single one of the boxes comes with the same sticker. I don't know. We'll have to find out for the next box. But let's see. I think the last thing is the pop. I don't feel anything else. Isn't there supposed to be a Pez in here? I swear there was. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But anyways, let's pop this one out, see who it is. <gasps> oh, nice! We got the glow-in-the-dark venomized human torch. I almost said venomized venom, but that is the venomized human torch. And this is like technically the variant of human torch. Like I said, I'm not too sure if it's a chase or if it's just like a one in two chance of getting either or, but it's still a really cool pop. And now looking inside of this, guys, we did not get a Pez. I swear there was Pez inside of here. Maybe I'm thinking of a different box, but I don't think I am. So it says on the outside, four pieces, so I guess they're counting the sticker as one of the items, but that's kind of small. All right, guys, well, I would say that is a pretty successful first box, so let's move this one off to the side, and let's get on to the next one here, and I would say the only thing that I don't want is a double, and I don't even know if the same small things are in there as well, like the same pocket pop and pin and stuff like that. I just really don't want another Venomized Human Torch, and I feel like me saying this is going to make me get another one, but anyways, let me pop this box open, and then we'll see what's inside. All right, guys, so let's start with the first thing here, which is the sticker on so yeah, it looks like all of these stickers are the exact same, unless I got another of the Venomized Human Torch. Oh, that would be annoying. Uh, but let's see what we got for the Pocket Pop here on the side. We got... Okay, it's different. We got the Venomized Silver Surfer. So it looks like they're making all new characters for the Pocket Pops, which is pretty cool. I don't know if they'll be making full-size pops of these characters, but I hope they do in the future because they do look pretty neat. And now I also felt the pin on the side. Fingers crossed it's not the Venomized... Who was that? Was that Captain... America? I think it was, no, it was Thor. I think it was Venomized Thor. Well, for this one, we got, ooh, Venomized Doctor Doom. Now, that is a pretty cool pin. Also, these are huge pins compared to the normal pins that Funko normally makes. And then, guys, so it looks like we're going to be getting a different pop in here, so let's see who we got. I'm hoping for the thing. That would be really cool if we got the thing. And we got, oh... We got the normal Venomized Human Torch. Well, I mean, hey, we didn't get a double, which is nice, but I mean, we did get the exact same character, just this one doesn't glow in the dark, so I mean, it's a little bit more sucky than the other box that we got. But anyways, let's move on to the next one here. We're on to our third box, and let's see what we get. All right, guys, now for this box, I don't think that we could get another Venomized Human Torch, because at the store, the one that they had on display was the glow-in-the-dark Venomized Human Torch, and then we got another one and the normal one, so fingers crossed we can't get the original one again. Like, maybe there's two of each. I'm not too sure. But anyways, let's crack this thing open and see what we get inside. So I don't want to see it. Also, I guess the sticker's on top. We'll check that first. Yeah, like I said, it's the exact same sticker every time, in case you guys are wondering. Now, on on the right side, it should be the Pocket Pop, yep, as well as the pin. Please don't be a double, please don't be a double, please don't be a double. Ah, <gasps> uh, they're different. Okay, so we got the Venomized Galactus, who's playing the new Fortnite event right there. I don't know why that reminded me of Fortnite, but anyways, there's the Venomized Galactus, and then we also have the Venomized Doctor Doom. Now, I 
do really like that one there. So this one should be a different pop, and who did we get? Please be the thing. I really want the metallic the thing. <gasps> no, we got the Venomized Mr. Fantastic. Still a cool one. We don't have it yet, so I'll take it. Well, guys, I guess the good news is we're not getting any doubles because the Glow in the Dark and normal Venomized Human Torch are technically different. So we are doing pretty good so far. As long as I don't get an exact double, I'm okay with it because it looks like every single one you do get a new pin and pocket pop as well. So I guess that's a bit of a plus. Now, let's move on to the last one that we have for today. And please be the Venomized the thing. Because to be honest, guys, that's the only one that I really wanted. I mean, other than that, I mean, the Venomized Human Torch is nice. It's just sad that we got two of them. But here we go. Let me pop this thing open. Okay, I, I don't want to look. I don't want to look. So, sticker is exactly the same, just like the other three. Now, let's see what we got for the pocket pop. Please don't be the same. Please don't be the same. Please don't be the same. No. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait. Uh, where did that one go? I just had it there. This one... Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to check that. Well, that's weird. This one here is glittery, but this one isn't. So maybe did we get something special? And then also, the Doctor Doom is metallic. Um, yeah, this one's completely different. I mean, well, it's not completely different, but you can see the hood on this one here is a little bit more metallic than this one is here. This one's kind of like a matte paint. So that's kind of cool. Maybe we did get something neat, because you guys can see here, this has glitter in it. So what could this be? This might be something really cool. I'm not too sure. Or maybe we got like the chase versions or the variant versions of like the smaller stuff that comes inside these boxes. So please be the thing. Please be the thing. <laughs> We got it! We got the metallic thing! Oh, great. This one is a really nice one. Actually, it looks a little dirty in person, but it's still a really cool pop. It really does look like the Venom is taking over the thing, and I'm just a huge fan of this character. Well, you know what, guys? I would say we did pretty good today. Now, let me actually pop this one out of the box just so we can see it a little bit closer up because I really want to take a look at this one just because of how weird this character is right here. Like, this is one of those ones that I never thought Funko would make, but here it is right here coming inside of the Black Friday mystery boxes, and this is a really nice pop. And I know why they made these inside the mystery boxes because I think all of the like variants of them are much better than the original ones. Like for example, if I'm gonna buy one of those, I'm gonna buy the glow in the dark Venomized Human Torch and not the original one. And I'm gonna buy the metallic Venomized the thing and not the original one. To be honest, for the Venomized Mr. Fantastic, I'm not too sure what the chase was. No, I can't think of it. But one thing that I am sure of is that the Venomized Invisible Girl is the only one that we didn't get. And this one actually looks pretty good. I do like this one. And if you guys want to know what the chase version is of this one, she's completely invisible. I mean, it, it makes sense. Also, I don't know if the, like, Venomized part, like, all the black parts on her, is that also invisible? Well, guys, this is everything that I got inside of my Black Friday mystery boxes, and I want to get more of these, but I feel like when I start to buy more of them, I'm going to get doubles. But if you guys would like to see another video on these, where maybe we pick up four more, five more, I don't know, whatever you guys want, let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Ops, Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a drip, drip, school. Fold. On a full with school. Maybe gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B54 thump. I'm a hump. On a bump. Jack and Jill. Up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin. Man, I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Lama lashes.